Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, subscribe. I post many videos such as fashion videos, challenges, beauty videos, anything that I feel like filming, I'll do it. I'm super excited for this week's video because we are doing outfits of the week, college edition, senior year edition. I can't believe I'm a senior already in college. That is like crazy to me. I still feel like I'm a senior in high school and when I was a senior in high school, I felt like a freshman in high school. So I just feel like it takes a while for it to hit me what year I'm in especially like me being in, like it hasn't even hit me that I'm in college and I think I think I can blame the pandemic for that because this is like my first time being on campus where it's like full and there's like a bunch of people and I'm finally experiencing what it's like to deal with all of the traffic that goes on in campus when you are trying to find parking so yeah it's a lot of things that I'm experiencing for the first time but I'm excited I love it so far I had a great first week and of course I just had to film what I wore for the week because I was just excited to like picking out cute outfits getting ready in the morning it just genuinely felt like a fresh new start so anyway without further ado let's get on with day number one outfit number one okay so one thing to mention is that it was so hot this week like extremely hot which limits the outfits that I want to wear because I have to wear something that is not gonna have me drenched in sweat but I tried my best to wear something that I would realistically wear to class but also trying to make it not too basic so for the first day I just have a tank top and shorts but the top is so cute and it's like kind of like a knit material I love the way it looks it gives me like beach vibes it's like a creamy white top and it has like a little pattern at the bottom I don't really know how to describe it but it's what makes the tank top look not as basic as like a regular white tank top would and I love that there's a v-neck shape to it it's just super cute it's cropped and I think it looks really flattering on my body I really love this top so much and then I also paired it with these shorts it says that it's from garage but honestly I got these from Goodwill so I don't even know if garage would like sell these shorts before but this is my first time having shorts from garage and the quality is super super nice I really love how these jeans look on me they are like the perfect fit it says a size 5 on here but I am usually a size 3 in shorts so I think the only reason why it fits me is because maybe these shorts shrunk and maybe that's why it was at Goodwill someone donated it because it didn't fit them anymore and it shrunk but I'm glad they donated it because it fits me perfectly it fits like a glove usually people say that they have sitting down pants and standing pants which I completely understand that I am going to give away all of my standing pants because I don't know I just there's no reason for me to have them that's why I love these because these I'm able to sit in them and feel comfortable so it was a good outfit to wear during class when all I want to do is just focus on the lecture I don't want to focus on how the button is digging into my skin. But yeah, it was a super cute outfit. I loved it. The way I did my hair was I did two little ponytails at the top. This is like my go-to hairstyle. I love that it keeps a little bit of my side bangs that are growing out, out of my face. And I really love the look of how my hair is down, but I also want, you know, my front pieces out of my face. So that's why I love this hairstyle. It's kind of like the hairstyle that I have right now, except mine is like braids right now. But this one is super easy to do in the morning. You just do it and you go. And then for the shoes, I'm just wearing my my white Nike Air Forces. Love these shoes. I wear it every single day. I'm pretty sure I wore it every single day for this week, so I'm sorry I don't have like different kind of shoes that I wore, but it's because I just genuinely love these shoes. Like I, I didn't want to grab another pair. For the next day on Tuesday, we have a simple outfit again, but this time it is just a regular plain blue t-shirt. I also got this shirt at Goodwill. I get a lot of my clothes at Goodwill. Love finding stuff there. But anyway, I love this t-shirt. I usually do not like t-shirts because one, I get like pit stains super easily and I hate that. I just sweat so easily in my armpits. And then two, I also just don't like how like restricted it feels. Like I just feel like my my shoulders need to breathe that's why I love tank tops so much but this t-shirt is like really stretchy it's super comfortable um I'm sorry I got it from Goodwill because I can't tell you like where I got it from but the logo does say I mean the tag does say destined size large I, I don't know if that helps but never heard of that brand but super 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 comfortable t-shirt I love it so much and I also love the color and then I paired it with these shorts these oh my gosh these are my favorite shorts I loved the garage shorts that I wore on Monday but these will always be my favorite shorts they are probably the most flattering shorts I have ever tried these are from forever 21 I did get these in the store 
not Goodwill. And they're a size 26 inches in the waist, which is also the same thing as a size three in shorts. But it's super cute. I love it because it kind of cinches at the waist a little bit. Actually, it doesn't. It's regular on the waist, but it flares on the thighs, so it makes it look like it's cinching at the waist. But really, it's just like pretty loose on your waist. I just love it. It kind of gives like the baggy look. The baggy jeans are in, like skinny jeans are not trending anymore. So I just feel like the same way with shorts, like I don't really wear shorts that are like tight fitting. I really like these baggy shorts. They're so cute. I love the shade of the denim, and I love that they have these little strings coming out. I did have to cut them if I'm being honest because the strings were super long and then I also paired it with this cropped beige sweater and I know what you're thinking you're like uh, I thought you said it was like super hot this week it was but I did have a morning class on Tuesday so I did have to kind of wear like a little sweater just just for like the first hour of the day and then like I took it off later but this is what I wore in the morning this is how I went to class it is a crop sweater so it goes super well with these high-waisted shorts and because it's super sunny outside I did put on my beige cap which also matches the shade of my cropped sweater so I feel like it went together really well even though I didn't wear my sweater outside with the hat I did want to match it regardless if I was gonna wear it together or not for my hair I just curled it like regular like I would any other day I'm trying to give hairstyles that I realistically would wear to school especially if I brought a hat to school I just want to put my hat on and not have it like not worry about my hair but yeah this is how I usually show up to school I usually show up with either straightened hair or curled hair and that's pretty much all I do to my hair but yeah let's move on to the third outfit okay so for outfit number three this is on a Wednesday I only have two classes on Wednesday and for those two classes I decided to wear this cute little green floral crop top I love this shirt so much I think it's super cute I just don't wear it that often but I should because it's like I don't know I love it so much I love that there's a little bow in the front and then there's a little hole right here I love that the neckline is like a V shape I love that look I, I'm wearing a shirt right now with like a V shape and this is honestly one of the most cropped tank tops that I own so when I do wear this I make sure to wear it with like something super high-waisted because I don't like to show too much skin but I think that's why I don't wear this shirt often is because I just think it's like extremely extremely cropped I decided to pair it with my high-waisted jeans these are flared boyfriend jeans I believe it's a size 3 26 inches and I'm pretty sure I got these from PacSun because I get all my baggy jeans from PacSun I just think it's like really good quality. They're kind of pricey, but honestly no They're not even that pricey because it's like kind of the same thing as Hollister But yeah, anyways, I got these jeans from PacSun. They fit me so cute I love how baggy it is at the bottom and it flares at the bottom But it really like hugs my butt and it hugs like my waist a lot So I guess it kind of hugs my curves. I don't have that many curves, but whatever Whatever I do have it makes sure to get as much as it can but I just really love how these jeans look on me it was super hot outside to wear these like I'm not gonna lie I was kind of like sweating a little bit but because they were baggy it kind of gave me a little bit of air to breathe and it wasn't that bad once I was in the classroom where it's like air conditioned it wasn't too bad and honestly I looked cute so that's all that matters I also decided to pair this with my white Nike Air Forces because I don't know I just think those shoes look really good with flared jeans and then for my hair I decided that I at least want to try with my hair for one day out of this week So for this day, I decided to do like a half up half down look But I wanted to put my clip in it so that way I can put the hair up and it kind of like fluffs and I think it looks really cute and it felt really nice to have that hairstyle in the heat because it kept more hair out of my face rather than just like the two ponytails that I usually do. But I just thought it was so cute. It was nice to kind of change up my hair a bit for this week and it didn't even take that much effort. It took me like five seconds to do the half up half down with the ponytail and then it took me like a minute to put the clip in because I kept doing it over and over again so that way it can look the way I wanted it to. But once I got it and it was in place, it looked cute and I didn't need to readjust it throughout the day. And yeah, I really liked the outfit and the hair for this day. Probably my favorite out of this week. 
Okay, we are on to our last day, which is Thursday. I know that people usually go to school Monday through Friday, and that's especially what we were used to in high school, but I only have classes on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then more classes Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't have any classes on Friday, so I didn't have an outfit for that day. Today is actually Friday. I'm at my mom's house, so I'm just chilling. I don't have class today. I've just been doing homework. So yeah, I only have four outfits for this week, but I wanted to make the best of what we could. So so anyway, what I did for Thursday is I just wore this basic white tank top. It's not too basic because the neckline is like a little bit higher so I think that that's kind of different I guess it's not that basic but but I really really love this tank top it's super comfortable I got it at H&M I love getting my basics from H&M because they have a ton of options and they have good prices there but instead of wearing just regular jean shorts like I would with a normal tank top I wanted to you know try a little bit harder for this week and I wanted to wear this green floral skirt super cute I love the skirt so much I love it like I can't even describe to you how much much. I love it. It's so comfortable. It's so flattering on my body. It's the perfect size. It's not even stretchy. Like it, it has a zipper right here to put it on because it's like not stretchy and it fits me perfectly. It doesn't like fall. I don't have to like adjust it up, but it's super cute. It has a slit on the side, which I love because I really like the look of long skirts, but I don't like when you can't see the leg. I only wear a long skirt if it has a little slit like this, especially with like, you know, long dresses. And it was perfect for the hot weather because of course it's a skirt it's very breezy i was not hot in it at all and i did decide to pair this with my white knockoff birkenstocks they're not birkenstocks they're knockoffs i got them on amazon it was like 30 dollars, but honestly the quality is really good so i don't mind that they're knockoff i highly recommend them i'll put like a link in the description for them because i've gotten complimented on them and people actually thought they were birkenstocks so but yeah i decided to pair that with this outfit because i don't know i feel like that goes well more than and the white Nike Air Forces that I have. And I just think this outfit is super cute. I loved it so much. It felt like I was kind of dressed up for a vacation, but it's okay because everybody dresses up for college. There's also those people that just show up in workout shorts or they show up in their pajamas. So honestly, you can dress however you want and like you won't look weird because everybody's dressed differently. So yeah, I just thought this was a really nice outfit to wear to class, even though it was a little bit out of my comfort zone because I don't really usually wear skirts unless I'm going out but I think because of this video kind of pushed me to wear a skirt to school because I wanted to wear something different I was just wearing like jeans but yeah so as for the hair I didn't do much to my hair it was like kind of greasy because I needed to shower so all I did was just put it in a low ponytail no big deal it was hot anyway I just want my hair out of my face but I did pull like a bunch of like strands in the front so that way it can give that messy look so yeah, that was it guys. That was all of the outfits that I wore to my first week of college senior year. I have been really busy over the summer. Like this was probably the busiest summer I've ever had in my entire life. And I don't know how this semester is gonna go, but we will see what the next video is gonna be. Let me know if you guys wanna see what I have in my backpack or if you guys want a back to school shopping haul. That would be really fun to do because I got like a few things that I needed. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great school year. And if you're not in school, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a great fall season. Leave your suggestions down below of what kind of videos you wanna see next. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.